Spot Dam. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to properly use one of these so you can get a really good bicep and back kind of pump at your house. What's going on guys and gals? Chris with the Body Damn Channel. This channel is all about food, fitness, and how to live an active, healthy lifestyle. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to properly use one of these. I'm gonna demonstrate all the ways that I use one of these things. And uh, yeah, so that's what the video is all about today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button early, and also get the free guide, muscle building guide right here that I created about six months ago. It's a neat guide. First link down below, it's 100% free, so go pick it up. But yeah, here we are outside of just a door in my house and I have a perfect multi-gym, people call it the perfect pull-up. There's so many different uh, you know, manufacturers of this type of thing. But basically uh, what it is, is a way to do pull-ups without having a pull-up power rack or a pull-up stand or one of those things. And essentially what this looks like is this, like right here, okay? So basically this goes to the back of a pretty standard door, right? Let me put it down like there and then line these things up the pads, give a little test, all right? So that's how you put it in place. It's basically holding on the lip of the other door, but when you're in it, majority of the pressure gets pressed in right here and back in the back part of here. So I'm gonna to demonstrate today how to use it because this is basically used for back and biceps pretty much only. I, would, I, would, I don't know if I would do anything else on this kind of thing. Let's start off with the back and when I want to target the back, I want to get the hardest back thing out of the way first if I'm going to be looking at one of these and that's going to be wide pull-ups. So I'm going to readjust the camera a little bit here because you're going to kind of see the speed that I do these things. Uh, when you do wide pull-ups on this, um, you really want to make sure that you stay under, okay, under the bar as much as possible, which will make it incredibly, incredibly hard. And if you can only get three to five, maybe even 10 at a good tempo, you're doing pretty good. So basically the grip is wide, all right? And it's gonna make some creaking noises as I kind of get into it and I, my, my weight settles into it and that's normal. So basically I'm gonna grip it as wide as possible. I'm gonna go like this, all right? I'm gonna hang and then I'm gonna stay under it, all right? And then I'm gonna go up. So basically my lat muscles are directly under that foam grip and this is about the speed you want to do it. All right, you want to activate your lats first, big squeeze, boom, down like that. So basically the goal is to get your chin over this right here. So that's how you get the wide portion of your back trained. Now, if you want to do the middle portion of your back, now we can opt to do two different things. We can go more like this, all right, with overhand, start going a little bit more inwards or we can use the parallel things like right here. So if we're doing like this, now if I wanna use the, the middle part of my back, I, I actually wanna lean back a little bit as I bring myself into this thing. I don't wanna stay under it. So basically, set it all up, a couple test pulls. I'm gonna lean back a little bit, okay? And I'm gonna pull up to it like that. All right, so I'm gonna go back like this, pull up to it, chin above the bar, good. Fully all the way down too, so you can lengthen your muscle, properly and then shorten it up here. And that's how you do that. Okay, so hopefully the camera's getting all this. Um, the other way to do it is to use the parallel bars, which is this, or the parallel grips. So same kind of thing, if you're gonna use this, you can choose to stay under it if you want to. I like to lean back just a little bit. And we'll go like this. One, Two, three, okay. So you can kind of see how that grip and just going a little bit back helps get your middle back that lengthening and shortening, AKA the squeeze. So that is the very first thing you wanna remember. Wide for the wide portion of your back, for the more middle portion of your back, Come inwards, lean back a little bit. And if you have this on yours, then use this, lean back a little bit, and you can get your middle part of your back with this too. Okay, now I wanna work out my biceps. And I'm only thinking two things on this contraption. One is a standard chin up, you know, palms face inwards. Always remember that when you're doing biceps, palms face inwards. When you're doing back, pretty much palms the other way. So, chin up. And then the other one is a little bit wider chin up, 
okay? And then with both variations, I can also lean back as well. But I do want to start the bicep stuff by trying to stay under it as much as possible. So, they, you know, it's been commonly said that one of the best back, I mean, best uh, bicep exercises, if not the very best, is actually a weighted chin up or just chin ups. So, high amount of activation on your biceps by using this. All right, so I'm gonna do a little test pulls, cool. And then I'm gonna go down, hang, and then I'm gonna bring myself back up, okay? So go like this, hang, up, one, down, stay under it, two, right, three. All right, so that's a demonstration of that. Of course, I can do the same thing with this grip right here. A little bit different feeling. One, two, three. So that's pretty easy as well, or well, that's an easy grip to do. And then the variation you can do with either is to lean back, you know, work out a little bit more of the muscles and stuff, but the standard one is to just stay under it as much as possible. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video to demonstrate this thing because, you know, honestly, getting a home workout at a time like this is, you know, very much wanted. So you can find these things, especially at thrift stores. So if your sports stores are out of this thing, go to thrift stores, secondhand resale shops, and you might be able to find one of these pretty easily. And if you cannot do pull-ups or uh, chin-ups, you can also get those elastic type bands that you step into that'll help you get the power to get up there. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's short, but you know, never discount something like this. You can get a really cool workout out of something like that. Uh, you know, hit the like button, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy, goodbye.